St. Patrick's Day always provokes excitement in the United States and at the BNP Paribas Open, all the players were hoping to have the luck of the Irish on their side in the third round. The big ticket for the night session was four-time champion Roger Federer, looking for quick revenge over Andrea Seppi, who beat the Swiss star at the same stage of the Australian Open. And Federer was in complete control of the opening set. Oh. Seppi fought back from a set and a breakdown, but it didn't take Federer long to re-establish his lead. It's very nice. After some piercing returns, Federer earned three match points on the Seppi serve, and the Italian repelled them all. That is exquisite! Seppi survived, but the world number two had little trouble serving out the win after 82 minutes. Federer gets sweet revenge against Seppi. He'll hope to continue improving as his tournament progresses. Earlier in the day, world number three, Rafa Nadal, took on American Donald Young seven years after their only other meeting on the same court. Nadal struggled to find his range in an opening set that saw five breaks of serve, allowing the world number 47 to stay in touch. The Spaniard did just enough to take the lead, though, and he kept his nose in front after securing an early break in the second set hold back on this one either. So full tilt. Much like Djokovic the night before, Nadal didn't play at his best, but he sealed the win in 80 minutes to reach the fourth round. And that'll do it. It's particularly pretty. He's able to do just enough. I'm playing well. I'm practicing very well every day. Uh, playing good match the other night. Today I played with a little bit more mistakes, but having the feeling that I, I am able to do it well. Every victory is important for me today and already uh, six matches in a row winning, that's a good number and I'm confident that and I hope tomorrow I can play a good match. Over on Stadium 2, veteran Tommy Robredo clashed with Grigor Dimitrov for the third time with their head-to-head -head tied at one apiece. The Bulgarian produced some eye-catching tennis as always, but it was Robredo who got the key break of serve in the opening set. That was a tremendous return, set the point up perfectly for him. But the world number 11 fought back brilliantly to take the second set in just 30 minutes. Oh, come on. That's incredible tennis. Dimitrov continued to produce some scintillating tennis in the deciding set, but as he served to stay in the match, Robredo turned up the heat. Oh, he's thrown everything into the forehand. A brace of double faults followed to gift Robredo match point, and the world number 19 grasped it with both hands. Oh, he's made it! And what a fantastic end to the match from Tommy Robredo. What a performance. The number 11 seed is out. American Jack Sock, in his first tournament since undergoing hip surgery in December, took on Roberto Bautista Agu for the right to face Roger Federer in the next round. The 22-year-old has also had to contend with a life-threatening illness to his brother this year, and Sock fought back well after dropping the opening set. After three previous first-round losses here, Sock earned the insurance of a double break in his ninth set of the week. What a get from Sock! That is big-time tennis from the young American. Sock defeated the world number 16 in an hour and 44 minutes to reach the fourth round of a Masters 1000 event for the first time. And he cannot believe it. What a comeback this has been for Jack Sock. First tournament of the year, and he is excelling. I haven't played any of those so-called top four guys that people like to say, um, Novak, Rafa, Andy, and, and Roger. And, uh, I've practiced them with them a few times, but uh, I've never played them in a match. And um, I usually don't get a, too nervous, you know, when I go out and play. And, and I'd definitely be more I mean, excited, looking forward to it, and, and kind of just enjoy the moment again. And, and, and I think it all comes back to you know having my family and friends here um, and team able to share this moment with me. And, and uh, I'll definitely go out and, and, and go out swinging. The round of 16 awaits on Wednesday when the entire field will take to the courts of the Indian Wells Tennis Garden with 11 seeds still in the draw.